Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me in another video. So I follow style.com. Now this is a fashion Instagram, fashion news account, and they put out this post and I was like, okay, let's talk about it today. So if you don't follow style.com, I'll link his Instagram down below, but he's known for having those big blue squares with the white font and he talks about fashion. So it states, Marc Jacobs about Chanel. There's only one job I want and haven't been asked to do it. This quote comes from Rory Satran's great new article about Mark from the latest issue of Wall Street Journal magazine. Mark goes on to say that Coppola, who works with Chanel, has even put in a good word for him. Unfortunately, I'm not in charge, says Coppola, who says it would be her dream for him to design for the storied house. Who else has that talent, sophistication, and also knows what the kids are into? From style.com and Mark wearing Chanel looks absolutely fab. I agree. Mark Jacobs is also known for wearing Chanel. I feel like he's also known for wearing Hermes, but he's also been known for wearing Chanel quite heavily. And of course, I think this totally makes sense. Everybody knows how he really changed Louis Vuitton, revolutionized Louis Vuitton. The way he transformed that brand is to this day, one of the greatest luxury transformations. Of course, we all know not only did he create amazing handbags, but he was also known for his iconic collaborations. There was also a recent appearance, an interview he did. I'll link it down below with Wall Street Journal and they're interviewing him. It's also interesting to note that he's giving these series of interviews, but I think he's quite friendly with the press. I think he's a designer that is willing to be in the spotlight, but it is worth mentioning that in this interview, he was talking about when he started doing collaborations, he was actually referencing the period of the 1920s, the 19. 30s when creatives would collaborate quite frequently. And he lists off several names, Picasso, Jean Cocteau, Dali, and of course he mentions Chanel along with other names, but I thought it was noteworthy in the interview. This was a point of reference for why he started to collaborate with artists and creatives of the time, Steven Sprouse and Takashi Murakami. He talks about how it was like bouncing ideas, passing a creative ball with his collaborators and how much fun that was. And when you think about Marc Jacobs' work, it totally makes sense. He has a very collaborative approach to fashion and of course, famously at Louis Vuitton. He, I think, really started this movement in luxury fashion when we think about the likes of Kim Jones, who was also the men's creative director at Louis Vuitton, and then other creative directors, Virgil Abloh, who also comes from the streetwear world. And I think this point really needs to be emphasized. Marc Jacobs really brought this concept of collaboration within this world of luxury fashion, in particular handbags and leather goods. But of course, this is something that streetwear culture, underground subcultures had done previously. That had existed before. But I think Marc Mark Jacobs is very observant of what is going on culturally and making fashion and luxury fashion that is inspired by that. And of course, Pharrell has always cited Mark Jacobs as a huge inspiration. And also Pharrell had famously collaborated with Chanel as well. So maybe the choice for Chanel has been right in front of us this whole time. Now it is noteworthy that he states how he hasn't been asked to do it. Like this is the role he wants to do, but he hasn't been asked to do it. And maybe this is his way to message to the heads of Chanel, hey, please consider me, right? His work, his resume, what he did at Louis Vuitton, he's also done his own brand. He was also at Perry Ellis, but I think we all know of him as Louis Vuitton and then his own brand. We all know of him as creating some of the most beloved luxury handbags. Many of us have been in some way or some capacity, myself included, be it at Louis Vuitton or Marc Jacobs. And I do think lovers of luxury handbags, at least, would absolutely love to see Marc Jacobs. At Chanel. I think a lot of people would. And I'm somebody that could go on and on and talk about handbags, I'm sure as a lot of you could. But I also think it also needs to be mentioned how successful his beauty line has been, his fragrance line. In the interview with the Wall Street Journal, talks about the inspiration for the Daisy fragrance, how it was inspired by his dog, Daisy, who is named after Daisy Buchanan, who was a character in The Great Gatsby. He's a designer that likes to tell a story, create worlds and dreams around his products. And his beauty line was also very good. I don't know why it's not being pushed at Sephora as much, 
but I really loved his lip liners. They were like my favorite go-to lip liner. Anyways, random insert there, but he is a very commercially minded designer. He knows how to create good products, but create the worlds around the products. I really think I'll link that Wall Street Journal interview down below, but I really think they summarize his career in a way that makes him very palatable for Chanel. They not only mention his time in Paris. He loved being a New Yorker in Paris. With that perspective, the interview also talks about his appearances at the Met Gala, his relationship to Anna Wintour. And while I think he's not a designer that needs any introduction, that really needs a reminder of how iconic he is, it is very noteworthy that we have this eight minute summary of his career, which I think positions him to be at Chanel. And clearly he is stating his interest in being the creative director at Chanel. Not only does he know how to create a good bag, but he also brings this perspective where he likes to work with other creatives. He has this very collaborative approach. And I also think he is able to create the world around these bags, the dream around these bags. And I do think there is a desire for this in luxury fashion. There is this dream, this fantasy that people wanna buy into. People want the enchantment. I've said that before, and I think people want that from a lot of these luxury brands that it just feels like the magic isn't there. Obviously we know he is capable of doing that. Also in the Wall Street interview, he did talk about his tenure at Perry Ellis and I thought it was very interesting how he talked in the interview. He said that he is somebody that doesn't just like to be okay. Like he doesn't just wanna be in this medium point. He strives to be a designer that is both liked and hated and he's not afraid of that. He doesn't just wanna be okay, right? Now the question I wonder is Marc Jacobs, he has his own design house which is under the LVMH umbrella. Maybe this is why he hasn't been considered, right? Maybe Chanel is looking at who are the free agents, who would be the creative director that wouldn't be a difficult contractual issue. But I do remember earlier this year, there was speculation that LVMH could potentially sell off Marc Jacobs. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Maybe they wanna keep it because they wanna keep Marc Jacobs just for competitive reasons, who knows? But I feel like this is Marc Jacobs also saying he would happily go to this brand. I wonder about that dynamic. Earlier, LVMH also did sell off off-white. And we know based on the financial reports, LVMH is not having their best quarter. Their shares are down. You can check out the video I did. There's that logistical issue. But of course, there was also Carl who designed for both Chanel and Fendi, which is owned by LVMH. He also had his own brand who really knows what happens here. But I think Marc Jacobs would happily take on this role. I think this would be a move that would really inspire a lot of luxury lovers to buy into Chanel be it for nostalgia reasons, be it for they know he knows how to make a good bag. We're talking about how Louis Vuitton is reissuing so many bags and uh, many of the bags that they're re-releasing are bags under his era. A lot of the OG Marc Jacob ideas and handbags are often being reissued. His status in the world of handbags in the world of fashion is indisputable. That is my video. I would love to know your thoughts on Marc Jacobs, potentially going to Chanel. I think it could totally happen. Thank you so much for joining me in another one and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.